Hi, and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker, and today we're going to be looking at a, uh, a product I didn't have to review, but uh, I've chosen to just because I really, really like it. Um, as, as you would probably know if you saw me at Vape Fest or if you saw the Dead Rabbit review, I think I used it in that. Um, but no, I just really, really like this product. Now, this is called the Extruder. It's from Definitive Designs over in Canada. And uh, before I go into any more, let's dive down up close, and I'll take you around a little tour of what what this little extruder 3d printed mod has to offer come on then so here we are with the extruder from definitive designs i'm using the black background for a change just so i can really kind of highlight this bad boy for you and you can see exactly what's going on now then i think this is a stunning mod just notice that there is some muck on there i could have cleaned off before the review but there you go these things happen um i think this is an absolutely stunning mod first off as a little bit of a size comparison if i put the minikin v2 next to it you can see that uh, it is a little bit shorter and obviously it's going to be a little bit on the on the uh, wider side as well but uh, not a whole hill of beans more um, so size wise it's actually pretty darn small which I like a lot now then you've got a squonk window on this side and you've got the clear battery door on this side and I say that this is a battery door because they are two very separate entities on the top there you do have a da Vinci 510 from Italy and let me have a little bit of a zoom up close for this for you so with this 510 you can see that it is actually manually adjustable it does have a little bit of a screw head in there so if you need this to move up or down it's got a reverse thread on it so turning it counterclockwise will actually screw it down into that and uh, clockwise will bring it up but that does help make sure that you do get a good solid uh, connection however when it comes to this 510 there is something I'm going to tell you when we go back up top as well uh, I've had no problems with this so far and I've had a, a jolly good time using it now if I do pop on on a, uh, a dead rabbit which is uh, one of my favorite RDAs that I've been using on this one uh, you can see that there is a very very slight overhang just on the sides with a 24 mil atomizer so I know some people are going to be uh, concerned about that now generally generally with some of the mass produced mods then it really does annoy me as well but uh, in this instance I'll discuss this as we go through it uh, I possibly could do with uh, just pushing in that 510 just a little bit more for this uh, for this atomizer at the moment to be honest with you uh, but uh, no it is what it is so you do have a little bit of the overhang there but not a whole hell of a lot now then if we take this apart oh by the way just in case anyone's interested in being matchy matchy this teflon drip tip is something that i've got from bigs tips over in the uk or drip tips by big can't remember but uh, either way i'll pop a link down in the description now then, when it comes to the mod itself, like I say, I really like the simplicity of this mod, uh, but one of the things that I really like about this is the fact that we've got some stunning internals. Now you will see that you've got a little sort of a, a drop button going on here with a couple of flat sides going either side, and that means that you can turn it to lock the button. I'll show you how that works when we go inside the mod. Um, and on this side, as I mentioned earlier on, you do have the extruder logo. Now then, if I Pop, put my finger down or press my finger down in this bottom corner it allows me to take the battery door off to show the battery and the top of the 510 there as well however if I give this a bit of a pull this will allow me to get the battery out and you will see the battery orientation going on either side there whoops you can see that um, as well as you can see the contacts for both the uh, positive and the negative now both these contacts I found to be pretty easy to clean um, in uh, in while they're in situ although you can take this whole section out should you wish to um, but uh, there is a video on how to do so in fact let me just turn my autofocus off um, there is a video on the website that will uh, show you how to take this apart it's fairly simple but uh, it can be a little bit on the fiddly side now uh, on the other side here obviously if we take out the uh, the squonk door if you like you can see that we have the Definitive Designs logo, nice and proud printed on this section. And this is what I mean about something different. And I fucking love it. I really, really do. I love the fact that the bottle is essentially separate to the battery. So should this start leaking and splurting and being a pain in the dick, you're not going to get anything squirting on your battery contacts, which is great. Um, and it does mean that it's still super easy to uh, to clean. The fact that uh, you've got the hole on this side does make it also very, very easy to push out the, uh, the squonk bottle. So you can pull that out there and change that. If you do want to use a mod maker squonk bottle, you certainly can do 
do as well. But uh, on the insides there, I think they're fairly clean and nice and easy. Uh, you can obviously remove the 510 should you wish to, uh, although I've found because you've got access to both sides of this uh, squonk pin, if you like, uh, you can clean that just with a rag pretty simply. So uh, I've not really had much of a need to other than when I've just taken this apart to see how it does all come apart. Now, when I mentioned earlier on about the lock button, you will see that behind this positive contact here, there's a little kind of a shelf going on. There's a printed shelf. And that means that when you're in the unlocked position, you can push the back the contact in like so. Oh, and one of the other things I like about this, and I don't know if this is by luck or design, but I love the fact that this contact actually hits the flat of the nut there. That to me makes a much better contact than hitting just the uh, the sort of the tube aspect of the uh, of the squonk pin. So I do like that. But anyway, going back to this locking switch, if I turn the uh, the the button, you'll see that it actually kind of comes into. I'm just making sure I get in focus here. It, get, it there's a little blue section that goes into that 3D printed shelf. So unlocked, it's like that locked it's like that and so that means that i can't now fire the mod which i think is a really simple but really effective way of being able to get that uh being able to get that kind of uh locking system in place i think that's really really good but no otherwise Super simple to clean, super simple to uh, pop your squonk bottles in and out of. Um, I, like I said, I will talk about that 510 when we go up top. And uh, once again, getting the batteries in, super easy as well. I've had no problems with any battery rattle or any wobbliness. You've got a little bit of tension coming down uh, from the top there. And uh, that does hold the battery in lovely. Now, obviously, when it comes to the batteries or the magnets, rather, um, you've got two here which actually attach to the battery and two here that are attached to this section on the mod and that means that that does sitting there good and solid uh, and like I say to undo it I found it's best just to press down in that bottom corner and that flicks that out lovely now a couple of other doors if I just zoom out for a second a couple of other styles of door that you can get are these acrylic doors as well. These do cost extra. These cost 50 Canadian dollars, which I believe comes to about 30 quid, between 30 and 40 quid, I think. Um, no, 30 quid. Pretty sure it's 30 quid. Um, but uh, yeah, you can get these made, and I'll talk to you more about these when we go up top as well. And I must admit, I have been rocking mine with, uh, with these on quite a lot because I think it shows off those gorgeous internals. Um, but uh, no, you don't have to buy them. I think they just look great when they're on. Now then, I think that's about covered the mod up close. Let's go up top and we can have a vape on it and I can tell you a little bit more. So that was the up close with the extruder 3D printed mod from Definitive Designs and uh, hopefully you kind of got a little bit of an idea about why I like it so much but um, I will tell you a little bit more. There are a couple of kind of um, things to make you aware of as well but I mean you know I, I like it a lot. Let's have a little vape shall we? That just works marvellously. It really, really does. I've got the dead rabbit on there at the moment, as I showed you in the up close with the big tips, Teflon drip tip floating around on the top just to make it look a little bit more matchy matchy. Now then, talking about matchy matchy, what colours does this come in? Let me pop a couple of pictures up now, uh, just so you can see an array of the different colours there on offer. Now you can choose pretty much whatever you fancy out of those colours and uh, and that's the choosing from the inside and the outside. So uh, I think that level of customizability is absolutely fantastic. I think that's really, really cool. I like that a lot. And I did choose for the white and the blue purely because um, Basically, a, a very, very kind subscriber um, decided that uh, that I should have one of these in my life and uh, and sent me one, which is is absolutely stunning. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I was able to, I was lucky enough to be able to choose the colours and all that sort of good stuff. But uh, yes, thank you very much to you, you, you splendid person for, uh, for 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 getting this made for me and sending it on. Um, but no, I think it's absolutely glorious, and the fact that somebody's bought it for me doesn't mean that hasn't kind of skewed my review because if I didn't like it I wouldn't put it in front of the camera that's as simple as that um like I said I didn't have to do this so I just do do genuinely like it. I love the fact that it feels nice and robust in the hand. I like the fact that it feels solid once you've got your juice and your battery in there particularly. It doesn't kind of move around. It doesn't make any noises. It doesn't do anything it shouldn't do. And uh, for me, that's absolutely spot on. And the, the, the vape I get from it is really, really good. It's Those contacts just work brilliantly. Now then... <clears throat> 
A couple of the other customizable things that you can do is uh, you can actually ask for a Mod Maker 510, which is spring loaded instead of the adjustable one, if you so wish. Um, but uh, they've chosen to go with the adjustable one just to ensure that it can't leak in any way, shape, or form because it's all about how tight you screw those together. Um, so I understand that, but you can ask for it if you want that as an option. Um, they are also working on silver contacts, so uh, that's going to be something interesting to see. I mean, the difference between the brass and the silver will be, you know, it won't be a whole hell of a lot of beans, but uh, but no, they are working on those as well. Now, when it comes to the acrylic doors, the one, these little puppies that I showed you, um, these are actually made by uh, a chap called Ryan Bell at um, Canadian Custom Vapes. Um, I think that's the name of them. Uh, Canadian Custom Vapes, yep, um, on Instagram. So you can go and check those out. And uh, so, like I said, I mean, I think, I mean, I think that looks very cool. I like the simplistic look to it, but um, <clears throat> by popping on the uh, the acrylic door there, I just think that looks classy af. I think that looks really very cool, and uh, the fact that you can see those gorgeous internals makes it all the better for me personally. Um, so yeah, I'm a massive massive fan of those. Now then, you can also, if you're particularly posh, get some uh, other doors, and I'll see if I can pop a picture up now, which are kind of I don't know if they're resin or if they're acrylic and stab wood, but uh, I imagine it could be clear resin and stab wood. Um, these are actually made by uh, uh, Odis Designs in Toronto, those particularly kind of high-end people, the guys that came out with the OATI. Um, but they actually work with definitive designs on this project so they can bring you kind of a, a kind of a funky mix of that kind of see-through and stab wood which I think looks pretty classy. Uh, if you do want these then you can get in touch with Mark from Definitive Designs directly um, to get hold of them but they do come at a premium they are about 150 Canadian dollars. Now that does mean that uh, 150 Canadian dollars didn't work that out. So the hybrid doors do come through from Odis at around about the uh, around about the 150 Canadian dollars which is around about 90 pounds in the UK um, for that kind of hybrid of the stab wood and the acrylic um, which does certainly look very cool if you're if you're into that kind of thing but uh, having said that I think these uh, these uh, acrylic doors from Ryan Bell did I say the guy's name was yeah Ryan Bell from Canadian Custom Vapes are absolutely stunning and work really really well on this and once again you can buy these in a whole bunch of different colors as well so that's a whole bunch of positives to me. There is a whole bunch there that I just fucking love using. Um, now then, if I've got to be critical, and I do, I do have to be critical. That's that's kind of my job. But uh, the fact that you do have that very very slight overhang. I mean, obviously, I have complained about overhang on other mods, and uh, and so I do have to point that out on here. For a 24 mil atomizer, it would be nice to have that kind of just flush around that 510 area, so it goes straight up, so it does allow at least for a 24 mil to be sitting on top of there nice and comfortably without any overhang whatsoever on those sides. So you don't get anything too too aggro on the front there, apart from a little bit just where that uh, the, the, the corner of the mod is. But uh, like I say, I do have to point that out. Um, Otherwise, when it comes to the uh, the fitting of the doors and what have you, um, there is, I mean, 3D printed mods are a sod, and I know this because I've tried making them. Um, but uh, there is a little bit of a gap along the top on this one, on the squonk door, which I, you're not gonna be able to see that. I, uh, that's not gonna focus, that's not gonna focus. But there is a tiny sort of little gap going on just above that sort of front section up there. But uh, once again, for me, the positives on this mat and this mod outweigh the negatives quite significantly and uh, and so yeah you know I'm dealing with it so I know people will probably complain about that but uh, tough I don't care because I think this is fucking brilliant I'm gonna have another vape so if you've got this far along how do you get hold of one Basically, they do. I mean, it's uh, it's Mark and his brother, and they they kind of work together to uh, try and get some of these mods out. They produce ten a month, and um, you know, so it's not it's not kind of a huge production line. It's not something that that is uh, they're pumping out hundreds and hundreds of these things. So they're producing ten a month uh, at the moment, and they are having a list or an X one thing going on on their Facebook group. Uh, so if you're not on Facebook, that is a bit challenging, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, you've got to go in their Facebook group. When they announce a list, UX1, and then all of those names go into a randomizer and the top 10 people get picked in order to have a mod made for them. And so that's how you get hold of one. Um, 
Now, when it comes to uh, the cost of them, they do cost 220 Canadian dollars, which works out to be around about 135 English pounds, which is, you know, it's pretty well seated in that kind of posher 3D printed kind of um, uh, uh, mod market. And as much as it's quite a lot cheaper than some others out there at the moment. Now, the uh, the, the extra doors, like I said, the uh, acrylic doors are 50 Canadian dollars, but that works out to be around about 30 English pounds. Um, and the shipping is between 50 and 70 Canadian dollars so that works out to be around 30 to 40 quid somewhere around there um, but that's all of the details that I think I can give you there isn't anything else that I can really throw in there you do have the option like I say of having it super customized to your own colors your own 510 um, you can do you can get extra doors for it you can get your posh doors for it you can do all sorts and all in all this hasn't let me down I've used this pretty much uh, daily since I've had it and I've got to say I think this is is an absolute corker. I really, really like it. And it's made really well, like I say. The fact that it's so solid and not rattly and not wobbly and stuff, I think is brilliant. So sorry for this being a little bit of a gush vest, but I did want to bring this to you to your attention so you guys could see it because I have been using it and I have been I had a few questions asked about it. There we go, words. So because of that, I needed to uh, be able to show you because I, I just wanted to. And it's my channel, so there. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've got this far, I will pop a little subscription thing down here somewhere. And I'll pop a couple of videos up there and there. Please make sure you hit the little bell to be notified of any live events or anything else coming through or extra videos. But in the meantime, have it large.